A solution for burdensome property taxes has been difficult to find. Residents in areas of the Commonwealth with low property taxes may not feel the same urgency to replace the system as those in places like South Central Pennsylvania and the Pocono region where taxes are much higher and are raised nearly every year. A new bipartisan House Select Committee has been chosen to study the issue and report their findings by November 30th. We all are aware that it is the number one issue throughout the state, especially in my district. People cannot afford the ever-increasing uh, school property taxes. The committee is charged with studying many aspects of the issue, including tax revenues, the assessment process, school spending, the effects of state and federal mandates on school budgets, and any potential reforms needed to address these matters. What this committee is going to do is we're actually going to look at the facts. We're going to look at the proposals. We're going to look and see if, if these proposals add up, if they can adequately fund education uh, and get an answer to the people because they're demanding it. The committee will also hear from fellow lawmakers who will advocate on behalf of their own property tax reform plans. What I've recommended is that we have a hearing where we specifically hear from those individuals, uh, specifically uh, Jim Cox with House Bill 1776, Seth Grove with his plan, Dave Maloney also has a plan about the uh, constitutional amendment, and certainly uh, any of our colleagues on the other side of the aisle who have a specific plan or even a broad approach that they want to, uh, to testify before the committee. So we're hoping to have a separate hearing that would just listen to our colleagues who have plans out there, get an update on where those plans stand. You know, is there a way that we can, as a committee, recommend changes to those plans or enhancements to the plans uh, to make them be able to pass the General Assembly? Representative Tom Quigley sponsored the resolution to create the committee. He knows the issue has been studied for many years, but he feels this group can shed new light on school funding and property taxes. We're focusing more as a specific committee just looking at this issue uh, as opposed to some of the freestanding committees that have had the issue before them in the past, working with our colleagues on the other side of the aisle to find an answer or again, at least make recommendations that can be picked up on in the next session.